Hello guys, what is up? This is Galactic Helly welcoming you all to MPA Season 3, Round 1 of the playoffs. You're 7 and 5, Chicago Cup Juice are going against John, aka Pokemon, and his 9 and 3 North Orleans Pelipers. I'm pretty sure he's 9 and 3, if not, he is the record they made the playoffs. That's pretty much all I can know. He had a differential of like 24, and he did a very nice job at the MPA. He's also part of the GBA, made the playoffs over there as well. And uh, he's a very, very experienced Valorant, guys. Be sure to go give him a subscription if you guys are not aware of who he is. A really cool guy. He does things like battling as well as other types of amazingness. Does some shiny stuff as well, so, you know, we have some similarities in that type of aspect. A really cool guy, though. Seriously, guys, go give him a sub. Go give him some love before the battle even starts because he's an amazing person. He's a, a very, very awesome friend of mine and definitely, definitely a very... Very capable battler with an amazing team. Uh, we have a very good team and the will be the best team in the MPA, but in my opinion, I think his team is a little bit more well-rounded. I mean, we do have an Uber Mega Metagross, which is now an Uber ever since around two weeks ago, but like, you know, but by the time you see this video, it's probably three weeks ago. By the way, um, we're gonna see how things go. Whoever wins this matchup will go against Dan, aka A Drive, who uh, is a very awesome battler. We actually beat him in the regular season, but, um, you know, he didn't have Gudra at the time, and ever since he got Gudra, he has uh, pretty much been everything and everybody in his way. So, uh, pretty crazy stuff over there. We're going to see how things go and whatnot. And yeah, from what you can tell, we are bringing Clefable, Electros, Arcanine, Mega Metagross, Pangoro, and Seismitoad. So, we're not bringing Salmons this week because it basically gets stopped in its tracks way too often. Plus, he has Pokemon that I feel he's in a scarf with ice coverage, and I feel like it's not really worth it if we get like D dances up. He has things like Arena Quest to really take us out and whatnot. So I decided to bring in Pangoro as our offensive mon uh, on the physical side, other than Mega Metagross, of course. And, you know, obviously I could bring in um, I could bring in Salamence as like a double intimidate type of Pokemon or like, you know, a Moxie Pokemon or something like that, or like a mixed Pokemon so then that way it's, you know, not just a uh, an offensive Pokemon on the physical side or the social side or anything like that. Either way, uh, his team is Victini, Reuniclus, Tapu Fini, Raikou, Noivern, Escavalier, Decidueye, Pissimian, Sandslash, Quillfish, and Tyrantrum. So, he has a very good team like I mentioned before. The six Pokemon I predict him to bring are Victini, Reuniclus, Tapu Fini, Raikou, Noivern, and Escavalier. I feel like four of those being Victini, Reuniclus, Tapu Fini, and Raikou are pretty much the ones that, um, you know, are no matter what coming, and uh, I don't know, I feel like a Skevler should come. Noivern, uh, I'm not like crazy, uh, that, like, I'm not crazy sure if he's gonna bring that or not. He can bring Tyrantrum, he can bring, uh, you know, Sand Slash, Dis Slash, Decidueye for the extra hazard remover, because if he brings a team like I just suggested he would, um, the only the only Pokemon that can uh, get rid of hazards would be Finny with Defog, and uh, from the matches that I've seen from John, he's very, very keen on uh, my having hazards on the field, he's very good with hazard control, so we're basically going to make sure that we attack him with hazards. Sasvito will have the, uh, you know, stealth rock and whatnot. And we're thinking about bringing Crustle this week, but we decided against it as we want to play a little bit more, uh, you know, I mean, we want to play a little bit more balanced in, in, in a way. And we, and we want to be a little bit more safe than sorry. So we have some bulky mods as well as some offensive mods. And the bulky mods do have really good coverage. So they're not exactly bulky in the way where they, you know, can get set up on easily. But more so that they can come in and take some hits and then blow some hits as well. So it's going to be pretty cool. And uh, honestly, guys, I'm going to so, I'm gonna say this right now. My goal this season was to make the playoffs. It wasn't to get to the finals or anything like that. We built the pretty much one of the best teams you can ever get in league format, let alone 24 people or 16 people this is a 24 man league and we got an amazing team so very proud of that shout out to all the assistant coaches uh liz omar sydney and dylan they did an amazing job helping me out and uh, i couldn't have done it without them so thank you guys very much for assisting me so far into the season and i know i'm blabbering a lot but i want to make sure i have everything pretty much good to go i want to make sure that you guys understand what's going on my 3ds just got banned yesterday for being custom firmware so i'm using my other capture card which thankfully i never got custom firmware on thankfully uh you know has a capture card so we're good to go Either way, let's get it going, guys. I am so nervous. I've never felt this nervous in my life in, in terms of, like, a league battle. And I know John's a very capable battler and there's nobody to fuck around with. So, let's see how things go. Go out to you, John. And he, he does bring a Quillfish. He does not bring, um, he doesn't bring Raikou. Oh, no, no, he, he does bring Raikou. Who's he not bringing, then? He doesn't bring Escavalier. 
So instead of asking Evler, he beats Quillfish. But he does mean the four that I predicted in Reuniquist, Victini, Type of Finney, and Raikou. So never mind. I thought you did I thought he didn't bring one of those. I would have gone crazy. Uh, so he does bring an Escavalier. That's actually huge. That's uh, enormous. That's enormous. Uh, like actually crazy that he didn't bring the uh, the Escavalier. As that thing does put in the work. I'm guessing he didn't bring it because Arkan has a huge strand. Obviously that makes sense. Obviously that makes sense. So Victini, Reuniquist, uh, Tabu Finney, Raikou, Noivern, and Quillfish. Interesting team, if I do say so myself. Um, so yeah, I mean he he may brought it because of the fact that I do have. Toxic spikes potential with tentacle, so we didn't even bring tentacle, which is nice. So hey, we don't we're not bringing anything with T spikes, man. We're good to go. The only hazard I have is stealth rock. We're pretty much going to make sure that we got everything rolling and going, and uh, make this the best battle we can possibly. Be. We're gonna think hard, we're gonna play hard, and we're gonna th pretty much see the best things that we can uh, pull off on my man John over here. So uh, yeah, he's taking a while to figure out his lead. I mean, rightfully so. I uh, you know I'm usually the one taking forever, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, I took a long time anyways. But either way, uh, let's see how things are gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna get some water because I feel like I'm gonna freaking get dehydrated and probably faint on, on the, uh, on my recording. <laughs> so, let's not have that happen. Let's not have that happen. So, I mean, I'm just gonna casually dig in for some water as we're gonna see who he's gonna lead off with. <laughs> I am not professional whatsoever, so if you guys thought I was, I am not professional. And I could really care less on how professional I can be. So he's gonna leave with the Noivern from what I was able to hear. I mean, what else has a fucking cry like that, right? <laughs> so he leaves out the Noivern, which is super interesting. Uh, I was not predicting that to be the uh, lead, honestly, so... Yeah, um... I'm actually kind of concerned right now. I was thinking about putting Ice Beam out of my size, but Toad, but unfortunately I never really did that. He may have U-turn, he may be... I think he's probably gonna be Scarfed if he is bringing this thing at all. Or Specs. Honestly, I'm thinking Scarf because... Whenever you're bringing an Oivern, you're predicting my Pokemon, like Salamence, if I were to bring it, to have D-Dance and stuff like that. So you want to make sure that you outspeed a D-Dance, Mence, and all of that amazingness. So, uh... <laughs> alright, alright. So, we gotta, we gotta really look into this right now. So, do we just straight up go for the Stealth Rocks first player, or do we make the hard switch into Clefable? And I feel like Clefable definitely is the most obvious place to put, bring it in on, but honestly, man, like, I feel like... If you go for Draco, we're dead. So we, we gotta we gotta make the aggressive switch first turn. Uh, we can get rocks up later on. I mean, rocks were huge, but I mean, I'm not getting myself uh, Draco or not. But of course, like I mentioned before, he has the U-turn. I should have stayed in predicting that. But that's fine. That's fine. So, um, yeah. So so off the damage that he just did, we have no idea what he is. We have no idea if he's Scarf or Specs. So that's cool. He doesn't want to re reveal that too early. But we know he has U-turn. So he has the. Uh, he has the switch ups, which is nice. That's that's part of the reason why I wanted to bring up the rocks because he has so many things to just switch in and out and in and out. So yeah, at this point he's probably just gonna go on into. Well, he doesn't have Escavalier, so that would be the switching into this thing. So thankfully he doesn't have Escavalier, so he doesn't really have the best switch into this thing. He can bring in Quillfish if he wants to. We have the Thunderbolt. He probably has the Poison Jab. We're not gonna stay in if he brings in the Quillfish though, because that would be foolish. We're not really gonna deal with that. He can bring up the uh, Toxic Spikes though, which would be really bad. We do not have anything that can get rid of uh, hazards, so that's probably what he's going to do. He's probably going to get up his T spikes at that very point, which would really suck, honestly. And we didn't really think too much about that, so uh, kind of a flaw in our, in, our, in our plan, unfortunately. He doesn't have anything... Okay, so yeah, he's bringing in Coalfish. Rightfully so, man. That's, uh, that's it's, It sucks. It sucks. Like, I, I, we didn't really think too much about that, so good, good, good planning on his end to bring it. Uh, not predicting us to bring our... Uh, tentacle. Or maybe he's uh, spikes. I mean, I think this thing gets spikes. Maybe he only gets T-spikes. Either way, he definitely has T-spikes. There's no way he doesn't. And he probably knew right away that we didn't have any sort of hazards. So, a bit unfortunate. A bit unfortunate. Um, but yeah, I feel like our switch into this thing right now would more than likely just have to be our Mega Metagross. Uh, he's just gonna go for the T-Specs more than likely. I'm gonna go in straight, straight into Mega Metagross. We're gonna try to get off a of Mega real quickly and see what he wants to do. Um, I mean, but the good thing about having Megros like it's in its base form is that we can't get intimidated, but you know, it's all good. He has a T-Wave, very unfortunate for us that he, we're gonna get T-Wave in the, pretty much the second turn of the game. Uh, that really sucks, dude, that really sucks. Uh, actually really ruins my plans of trying to get agility up and whatnot. Uh, that, that, that's what we have this, we have, we have agility, and we, have, we do not have the Hue of Bells, so John, um, doing his homework, man, doing his homework. He knows uh, our team gets crippled by being paralyzed, and it's a bit unfortunate, for sure. 
a bit unfortunate for sure. We can't get burnout, which is a decent thing, so it's not like we're crippled. It's a it's a bit weird that he brought T Wave whenever like there is uh whenever there is the uh, misty terrain, so I'm guessing this is pretty much his plan all along. I was planning going in to eel that turn, but I didn't, so I'm back. That, that probably was the best play for me to go for. I, 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 you know, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. What are you, what are you, what are you gonna do, though? What are you gonna do? So over here, um, I mean, his switch into uh, Zen Hebo more likely just be Reuniclus. I mean, he can go into Victini, but that'd be a bit ballsy. I'm just gonna go ahead and. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and go for a nice little uh, Zen headbutt, honestly. Uh, that's pretty much our best player. Or do we just go for the uh, hard double out into Pangoro? I think that's what we're going to do. We're gonna go into Pangoro over here. We're gonna go into Pangoro over here. That's what we're gonna do. So, yeah, I, I need to play aggressively at this point, guys. Uh, Blobby, Renikos, okay. I need to play really, really aggressively right now because I cannot deal with this passive shit. I've been passive this whole entire season. We gotta play extremely, extremely aggressive. We gotta make sure that we make the plays and we make the predictions. Over here, I can go for the gunk shot. I'm gonna go straight for the knockoff though as I think that getting rid of anybody's item is way more important than anything else. He can be Cobra and he can be running either, uh, you know, Focus Blast or Calm Mind. Calm Mind shouldn't be able to kill me, but he can be the Life 4 Magic Guard variant. Depending on his spread though, this should be able to kill if he's not Clover Berry. But of course, I'm pretty sure he's probably uh, decently bulky. Um, that's the thing. I doubt he's Trick Room. I don't think so. He's definitely Regen. He pretty much brings Regen every single week. I did my homework. Uh, of course, I can't predict what he's gonna bring this week. So good plays on his part so far. He's playing very, very, very nicely. But uh, this is a perfect position for us to be in at the very moment as we're going to pop somebody's either, uh, you know, item or berry if it's going to be the Cobra Berry over here. I don't think he brought it though. I think he's probably leftovers, but we're going to figure out over here. This is a very good matchup for us and uh, I'm glad that we kind of got the momentum right back after that double switch. I thought about it a little bit. I was like, screw going for the Zen Heb on that play because that's the thing with Mega Metagross. It can't just come in and start like, you know, it, like it has to come in late game and destroy things late game. It can't just come in and not do that. So. He's gonna go back into the cool fish. Good play. Good play. Uh, he's gonna get intimidated off. So good play on his part. We're gonna go ahead and um, knock off his probably leftovers. I believe it was. I believe we saw leftovers. Oh, black sludge. Yeah, black sludge. Same shit. Now, unfortunately, we do not have the. We do not have the um, the earthquake on this thing. If we had the earthquake, I'd straight up go for it and kill it. But unfortunately, we do not have the earthquake. So a bit unfortunate there. Been unfortunate there. He's probably thinking if we're banded or not. We're not banded this week. We're actually e belt So he's leftovers. Thunder Wave. Let me just make sure to note that down real quickly. Now, part of me just wants to go for the. Uh, part of me just wants to go for the parting shot. But honestly, there's really no point going for the parting shot because he's more than likely going to outspeed us. Although, um, I don't really want to reveal that we're not banded. Although that damage didn't really scream banded, you know. I mean, I could be jolly banded and it'll do that much damage. I mean, I can kind of, ch I can, I can try to trick him out a little bit. But honestly, I feel like he probably already knows we're not banded. So, either way, uh, I'm just gonna go for a clean switch into something. And my play is more than likely just to go into my Metagross hit again. Or am I, or, or should I go for my evil? If I go into Eli Trust, then I can get a nice little. Uh, well, I don't know if he's sp he's probably not sp he's, he's definitely physical and I don't really want Electros to take hits that he doesn't really need to take. So I'm gonna go back to Metagross. Unfortunately, Metagross is kind of shitty this matchup now that it's paralyzed, but at the same time, it can still be useful if we don't get if we don't get hacked. He's gonna go for the spikes, so he does get spikes. He's gonna go for the hazard stacking plays, which I should have went to Eel, but I don't really want to take a hit that I don't have to take. You know, again, a bit unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So um. At this point, I'm just gonna go into eel this time. I'm gonna double into eel. Because I feel like he's probably just gonna either stay in or he's gonna switch out. Uh, I made the switch into uh, Pangoro last time, so let's see what he's gonna do. He's gonna switch out. He's probably gonna go back to Uriniclus. He's gonna go to right back into Uriniclus. Okay, okay. It's a good play on his part. Good play on his part. We're gonna double. We're not gonna take any damage um, from the spikes, thankfully, since we're levitating. But everything else will, and that really sucks. We're not running Magic Guard on our Clefable. We're running Unaware, so very unfortunate for us in that point as well. Um, I'm gonna go for the, for the Super Fang though, and try to get some nice damage on either this thing or something else. He's more than likely just gonna stay in. I don't really see a diff I don't really see a reason for him to uh, switch out in any case over here. But again, this is where having rocks up would be very nice 
So yeah, we're gonna go straight for the Super Fang. It does land. So this will do pretty much 49%. And he has a Rocky Helmet. Okay. He's gonna go for the Slash Strike. That will do a lot of damage, unfortunately, because we're not really the most bulky on the physical end, and we're not looking great right now, guys. Unfortunately, we are not looking great at all. So Reuniquus is Rocky Helmet, and he has the Slash Shock. So. John, we we, ne we never we never doubt you, man. He's he's playing very well right now, and he has the momentum. Very well, very well. Much does have the uh, momentum over here. We're gonna go straight for the volt switch over here, though. Um, hopefully, he switches for whatever reason. I don't see why he would. Maybe just get some regen, you know, HP. But honestly, I I don't see why he would switch out. But volt switch is definitely the play over here, and we're gonna go straight out into our Pangoro. Or would he predict that and go for the Focus Blast? Now that's the question. I don't want to ever predict, but that is uh, something that he can do. That's something that he can do. Um, either way though, I'm going to go straight to Brangoro. If he goes for the Focus Blast and he lands it, then hey, you got to give it to him. You got to give it to him. He, he, he planned well, if that's the case. He goes for the cover, okay. So he does have the recover. So Rocky Amit's Slash Shock Recover. Okay. Definitely region as well. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So he's more than likely just gonna go back out into uh into Quillfish. Part of me just wants to go part of me just wants to go for the parting shot. But at the same time, I'm just gonna go straight for the knockoff yet again. Or do I make the double out over here predicting him to go back into Quillfish? We just can't take so much HP, that's the problem. This HP, man. We're getting ourselves sliced down a little bit more than we'd like to. Okay, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go out to Eel. I don't think he's gonna wanna stay in on us. Uh, we're, we're just gonna have to play this game, man. We're gonna have to play this game of trying to get momentum and trying to pretty much make the reads, make the plays, and see what he wants to do. So he's gonna go out into Quillfish. Um, see, I don't like to play like this. I really don't, but... We gotta play like this. We have to. We have to play like this. So, Volt Switch should be able to pick up the kill over here, as this thing has very, very little um, special defense. So, he's definitely gonna switch out. I definitely, I, I wanna go for the Super Fang, but I don't feel like I am gonna do that, because you can just go back to Rainy Quest, and I don't want more Rocky Helmet damage, and all that kind of shit. So, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go straight for the Volt Switch. So, yeah. Th this thing is just, ugh. Oh, such garbage. I hate Rainy Quest so much. It's one of my least favorite Pokemon because of this reason. It's just so good. It is way too good. I'm going to go for rocks. I need rocks on the field more than anything else. If he has the energy ball, we have the Rindo Berry. We should be able to take a hit. I don't think he has the... I don't think he has the energy ball, though, but he, he, it is possible that he does. It is possible that he does. I'm going to go for the rocks, though. I mean, size of really important, but I really need these rocks really badly. Because I don't want things to come in for free anymore. I don't want him to switch out so freely. It's just... Well, if, if, if I'm not going to be able to switch out freely, then he shouldn't be able to either, so... That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go straight for the rocks. Just get up the rocks on his side of the field and make sure that he has no way of just switching out so freely anymore. We're, gonna, we're also gonna figure out this thing is, uh, well, we already know this thing's regen because it's at, it was at full HP, but um, we're gonna figure out a little bit more of his uh, Pokemon and how they are run, how much HP they may have, etc., etc., etc. That little, like, smidge of HP um, from the South Rapid really doesn't tell me much, though, obviously. It's always gonna be, like, 12 or 11%, but hey. He's gonna go for the switch. That's good. That's good. So we know what he. We, well, we more than likely know that he does not have the. Um, that he does not have the. Um, energy ball. So he probably predicted me to go for the toxic. There's a chance that this thing has the grass nut. Very much so. Or the nature's madness. My play over here is just to stay in and go for the sludge weave, though. We have the sludge weave for a reason. He probably is just gonna go for the. Uh, defog though. We're gonna figure out this thing has defog. I'm just gonna go for the sludge wave. This thing has no way of regaining HP other than leftovers. So I'm gonna go straight for the sludge wave. Uh, it, sh it shouldn't do that much. It should probably do like 30%, but that's better damage than none. Uh, obviously, there's no chance of me getting the 10% poison because we're in Mr. Terrain. So Nature's Madness, okay. Yeah, that, that really sucks. I hate this move because it, it's obviously like Super Fang, but like, you know, it just does so much damage. We're gonna see how much this does, though. Oh, that does some decent damage. Okay, I'll take that damage. I'll take that damage. Okay, so he's leftovers. And he is... Uh, well, he just ran Nature's Madness. Okay. 
So, we haven't seen the defog yet, which is cool. Um, pretty happy about that. You can go into Quillfish over here. Um, I'm gonna make the, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the Earth Power. I'm gonna go for the Earth Power in case he switches out. Because I don't think he wants this Finny taking so much damage. Let's hope he goes into Quillfish. This should kill him if he goes into Quillfish. Ah, he goes into this thing. Okay. This is gonna take some decent damage, though. This is gonna take some decent damage, though. We're gonna see how defensive this thing is. So we did the 12%. Okay. Decent damage. Decent damage. I'll take that. I'm gonna take that damage. I'm gonna stay in and go for the Earth Power. We, we gotta just play this thing aggressively, man. If he wants to double, he doubles. I don't care. The best thing you can go for is Sign Strike, and it'll probably kill us at this range. But this is doing some decent damage, and I'm fine with that. He goes for the recovery, okay. I don't think he's in crit range, unfortunately. So he can recover all the way back if he really wants to. I think he's just gonna go for the Sign Strike over here. He's probably just gonna go for another recover. Or he's gonna go for uh, switch into Noivern, which would be a good play, honestly. Make, it would be a really good play for her to do that. Um, like I said, I really, uh, I really was looking into putting Ice Beam on this thing, and this is a, this is, this would be the turn that I would use Ice Beam, but there would really be no Pokemon to take that off for. Honestly, I, I could have taken off Skull, and um, the people in my front office told me that you know, oh, you can put Ice Beam for Skull, and I'm like, nah, I'll keep Skull for Burns, and I mean, right now it's not really looking too good for me. So yeah, we're just gonna go for the Earth Power. Hey, lowering down the social defense potentially is really nice. That's a crit. That is a crit. Okay, I'll take that. But obviously, he's just gonna recover back. I would, I would have rather taken the social defense drop over there. That would have been way better, honestly. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go for the skull. I want to get a burn. I want to get some sort of uh, some sort of hacks off on this thing because we need to at least burn it. At least get some residual damage off on it. That so yeah, skull would be nice. Get the burn. We don't get the burn. We do not get the burn. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, man, that sucks. Okay. Granny Quiz, Science Shack, and Recover. That's all we know so far from what I was able to remember. Okay. Okay, John, I see you. I see you, John. This is my switch into Pangoro. He's gonna go for the Science Shock this turn. He's gonna switch out. Or we're probably gonna see Kamai. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. He definitely has a Shadow Ball, which is why I do not want to go into Metagross. Not to mention Mega Gross can't do anything to this thing anyways. He's gonna recover back to full, that's fine. It doesn't matter if he does that because Regen would just bring it back to full HP anyways. Um I'm gonna go for the knockoff. He's probably just gonna go back in uh Quillfish, yeah. I wish I had Earthquake. But with yeah, with this and the uh with the stealth rock and the knockoff damage, it should bring him down to uh, pretty much high red health more than likely. I'm not secret. Yeah, okay, that's decent. Okay, he probably has Destiny Bond. He probably has Destiny Bond. I'm not gonna deal with that. I'm not gonna deal with no Destiny Bond bullshit. Other than that, he's just gonna get another layer of spikes up. Yeah, okay, fuck. Whew, that really sucks, dude. That really sucks, dude. We have two layer of spikes in our field, which is just not fun. And he will more than likely outspeed us. And, well, he is going to outspeed on this, on this turn. There's no way he wouldn't. I'm going to go with the Super Fang in case he has Devon. <sighs> I overpredicted. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter that much, but that sucks. Now he has full layers of spikes, and honestly, man. I hate to be the pessimist over here already in this match, but I just don't feel like we really have the uh, momentum in this game at all. This is our Ryan Q check, and it's about to die over here. We're going to survive and not get poisoned, which is nice, but I'm not liking this match so far. Electros kills Quillfish, which is, it, it's putting in the work. It's putting in the work, and I know how good this thing is. It's just, I wasn't anticipating him bringing it, honestly. So good play, good plays, man. Good plays. So he's gonna see where we're gonna go into first. I probably should have just Giga Drained. Yeah, I would definitely should have just Giga Drained. I don't know why I did that. Because now he gets a free switch into pretty much anything he wants. And this is gonna get free t uh, spikes damage. And we're not gonna get any sort of Intimidate off if we go into our uh, Arcanine. So honestly, man, I'm just gonna go into. 
I'm gonna go into size. Size is our least uh, valuable member at this very moment. It's probably gonna die. In, yeah, it's gonna die if I bring it in again. So spikes are really going to stop us from being able to really do anything. Which again, unfortunate. I, I really, I'm really not happy with how this match is going so far. And uh, yeah, I mean, th this is just this is playoffs, guys. This is the playoffs. If you've been rooting for the cup, choose man. Let's keep it alive. Let's let's keep up the hype. Let's keep up the uh, good vibes. Let's try our best to play our hardest and uh, play the smartest at the same exact time. At least we have the rocks in the field. That that's a plus because two things like um, Noivern and Vitin, you're not going to enjoy that. We just need okay. So that's the IQ. Okay, so if he just goes for the HP grass, we just die. If he, if he goes for anything, we just die over here. So yeah, I mean, I'm just going to let him kill me. It's whatever. I'm just gonna let him kill me, cause we're just gonna die to re-entry anyways. I can always use this thing as like, like you know, fodder later, but it's not really worth it. So yeah, we have the we have the Rindo Berry. It's not gonna matter because of the fact that we're such low HP already. Like I wish, like if 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 you didn't have the spikes on the field, we would have been able to take that, which sucks really badly. Okay, so we don't see life orb. He can be AV. He could be specs. He could be scarfed. He can be Z. He could be expert bell. I mean, he could be anything. HP grass. That's what we know about this thing so far. Just HP grass. Okay. Unfortunately, I really don't have anything to bring in. I really don't have anything to bring in against this thing. I, I, the best thing I could bring in is Clef. And he's gonna know we're unaware from this uh, damage we're about to take. Yep. We're thinking about magic guard, but with all the things that can set up on me, it was just not worth uh, bringing. Um, at this point, he's probably just going to go into Reunion Quest, honestly. I'm just going to go for the Moonblast, though. I can go for the Moonlight, but, I mean, it's just not worth it. Especially whenever he has pressure, it's just not really not worth it. So he's going to go for the Volt, so this is going to do a lot of damage. We go from 151 to 102. 151 to 102. 151 to 102. Let's remember that. 151 to 102. Okay, so we're at 75%, then we went to 102. So we're at 50%. So that did 25%. 51, 102. 51, 102. Okay, so. Here's the Victini. We don't have Protect. I really wish we kept Protect for this match. It's fine. So Raikou, let's say that's Specs. I mean, it probably wasn't Specs, honestly, but I mean, we'll see. We'll switch if it was Specs, would have done. 33 to 39. That's at 25%, so. Uh, that thing's probably a self fest. A self fest or Z. That's pretty much what I can see. He's not modest, he's timid. Okay, so we figured out some things about that. Okay. Our solution to this thing 100% of the time is gonna be Arcanine. We're gonna bring that Arcanine, we have Rocky Helmet, we have Intimidate, so we're gonna see how this is gonna do. Unfortunately, we just don't have anything for that Reading Quiz at the very moment. He's very passively switched in, but we do have a uh, knockoff that could be brought in later on. He doesn't have the Quillfish anymore to be brought in every single time, so that'll be nice. He has the V-Create, so that's nice. This should do about 30%. So how much HP are we at? 148 to 112. 148 to 112. 148 to 112. 148 to 112. So I'm thinking that he's bringing a mixed Victini, if I'm being honest with you. 148 to 112. Okay. 148. 75%. 112. It's 56. So 148. 75. And then 156. So that was about 19%. Yeah, that was 19% from the V-Create. So this thing is not, a uh, this thing's not banded, it's probably Scarfed. Okay. Good information to know. Scarfed. Got a bit of a higher roll there if he is Scarfed. He's probably Adamant. I think he's Adamant. He's Adamant Scarfed. Okay. It's good to know, so. Gonna put Choice Scarf. Slash Z move, he could be Z move, and then he's he's definitely scarfed. Like, what's gonna go against the Mega Metagross, man? Like, this thing is definitely scarfed. V create. Okay. I'm gonna go for the Morning Sun over here, cause he's just gonna bring in Blobby and just you know, 
not dealing with that. So he's gonna switch out, obviously. Okay. Yeah. Blobby just comes in for free every fucking time. I hate this thing so much. I hate this thing so much, dude. So we're gonna go for the morning sun, get our HP back. It's very important to keep Arcanine healthy in this match. Um, I'm just gonna go for the Flare Blitz, see how much this does. It's probably gonna do nothing, but I just wanna see if we can like score like a burn or something. Something decent. That's not like good damage, and he's Rocky Amo, yeah. He's gonna go for the T-Wave. Fuck, this thing has T-Wave too? Oh my god, dude. Okay, so we know three of his four moves now. He's probably got Shadow Bond as, la as his last move. Damn, dude. So Quillfish and Reuniquist both have Thunder Wave. He came prepared. I mean, no shit, he came prepared. Fuck, dude. That sucks. I'm gonna go for the Morning Sun again. I kinda wish we were slower than this thing after. I kind of wish we were sore than this thing, but you know, it's fine. He's, gonna, he's just going to go for the... Oh, I guess the double T-Wave. Okay, good thing we stayed in. I'm going to go for the Crunch. I'm just going to go for the Crunch. It's not going to do more than flame, Flare Blitz, but we may, we may get the Defense Drop. No Defense Drop. Okay. He goes for the cover. Okay. Okay, John. Okay, John. Um. I'm gonna go out into Electros. This is like, this is either a sack or just something to come in for free. Okay, it's a sack. Cool. Because I, I want to bring a thing going for free right now. And. I kind of wish I stayed in there and went for Morning Sun at least. No, us not having Cube Bell this week is terrible. We have so much fire coverage for the Escavalier that isn't even here, so. Um, yeah, that, that sucks. That sucks, dude. We're gonna go into. We're gonna go into Pangoro, though. That's our play, and we just gotta do it, man. We're gonna knock off something. We're gonna knock off something. That's basically what you gotta do. If it's the leftovers on the Finny, I'm okay with that. I probably should've went for the Gunk Shot though. That would've been huge. I should've gone for the Gunk Shot. That's the type of momentum we needed right there because that was such an obvious switch. But like I said, like I said though, knocking off something's better than nothing. But if I gone for the Gunk Shot and it landed, it would've killed this thing, which would've been very nice. And unfortunately, I, I just I can't bring Clef right now. Clef's just gonna die because of the spikes. Because it just does like 33% and surf and all that shit. And just losing Clef this early would really suck, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have to go into Clef. I think we just lose, guys. I, I can't deal with these spikes, man. These spikes are gonna prove to be too much for us. If I'm for the gunk shot over there, that would have been the play of the game right there, man. Yeah, we can't take two serves at this point. They're just two moon blasts. There's no way, man. There's no way. Unless I can get Moonlight over here for free, which I'm not gonna be able to do. Unless, like... Well, he's, he's way faster than us. That was the only switch I could really uh, afford. I could have gone to Mega Metagross, but just... Uh, like, we, we just lose over here, I feel. We, we, there's pretty much no way we can win. He, he br Him bringing the spikes just really, 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 really screwed with us. And the two months of T-Wave, just props to him, man. Because we don't expect anything with T-Wave against the team with Misty Terrain, so... He just played his uh he just played his way, man. He played his way up here, he played his way, he played his heart. He just did well, man. So props to him. So yeah, Major's Madness and Moon Blast. At this point I just have the agility.
He's probably calcing it. He was probably calculating to see if Bullet Punch would kill from this range, but it doesn't. I'm just going for the agility. Um, I don't think I could outspeed like Victini of Scarf though. Yeah, he's going to go for the Aegis Madness. This is basically what we got to do. Just got to go for the agility and just hope that we don't get hacked, which honestly in this turn we're probably either going to miss the uh, Meteor Mesh or we're going to get fully paralyzed. It's just how it is. Like This is just how my season of Mega Metagross has been. and I mean, it, it, I have an Uber on my team, so it is what it is, but hey. This probably is scaring him a little bit, though, so... Hey, yeah, fully paralyzed. You see, that this is just how this is just how the season's been for Mega Metagross. It's just hacks and unluckiness. And it's, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I'm, I'm fighting against it. But it's just how it is. It's very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But you know what? What can you do? What can you do? You see, the, the game changer would have been if I landed it and I went plus one. That would have been the game changer. And if I were to be able to outspeed like a Scarfictini, then I would have been able to really come back. But honestly, I don't even think I can even kill Reuniquist at plus one. I would have to like first Zen Head flinch and then go for like a Meteor Mash or something. So, you know, like, I can't even say I would be able to catch up even if I were to get the kill over there, but it is what it is, man. Fully paralyzed again. We, we like, th there's nothing I can do. I'm trying to come back and there's nothing I can do. This is just how it is. This is the game we play. That is how it is. John outplayed me, so I can't complain about that at all. Shout out to John, though, seriously. I hope that he, I hope he, I hope he, uh, really puts in the work. Uh, I'm rooting for him and Swami, honestly. Like, I really hope, like, they can pull it out. Um, at the same as that time, I do want Dan, aka Adraft, to put just to put in the work. So, this conference is so stacked with Adraft, Chris Cobain, Swami, po uh, you know, John. It's just so it's so stacked. I, like, none of these people are like just able to be beaten. And then Big Pump Gaming, like you have such a good you have such good battlers, so such capable battlers. I just I I can't I I wouldn't be able to even go far, man. That's the thing. I'm not trying to doubt myself in any sort of way. I'm not saying I'm a bad battler. I'm not saying anything like that. It just with the type of luck I've been having, I just don't see me really being able to do much anyways. So, we're gonna get 5 would Um, it is what it is. And, hey, we're gonna come back next season, guys. We're gonna come back next season. We're gonna try our best. We're gonna go strong, and we're gonna see what we can do. Um, this is the worst loss I've gotten all season. So, I'm kind of upset about that. Definitely the harshest loss. But, I was anticipating it in, in, in some way because of his team being so powerful. And, of course, I just got unlucky. T-Waves could have missed as well. Like, it's 90% accuracy. It's just my luck with 90% accuracy moves are really the best. I did hit the Super Fang, so that was something to be happy about. But, yeah, not much you can really do, right? GG to John. You played well, man. And, uh, good luck to you for the remainder of the playoffs, my dude. Good luck to you. Um, be sure to go subscribe to John, guys. Po uh, Pokemon. Really cool guy. And, uh, read him on. New Orleans Belpers, 5-0, the Chicago Cup choose. Um, he, he just not played me, guys. That's pretty much how it's going to go. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, if you guys are new to the uh, channel, uh, be sure to subscribe. I apologize for the way I may have played. I apologize if that may have turned you off the channel. That's fine. Hey, it is what it is, man. I play this game for fun. I love competition. It was, it's, it's what fuels me to want to do this. Uh, if I lose, I lose. It, it's just it's, it's competition. You don't always win. LeBron hasn't won all of his finals appearances despite being on stacked teams, and you can't win them all, right? So either way, <laughs> that was a terrible, that was, that was such a terrible comparison, because, I mean, it's LeBron James, like, whatever, dude. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. So, so, I can't even English right now. Thank you guys for watching, though. I really do appreciate that. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like, drop a comment. If you guys are uh, pretty much pumped up for Season 4 of the MPA, and who do you guys, who are you guys rooting on for uh, for the rest of the playoffs? Are you guys rooting on John? Are you guys rooting on T-Train? Uh, are you guys rooting on my man Kelly, aka Under the Radar? Are you guys, uh, you know, pumped for A-Drive? Pumped for uh, Swami, Palm, uh, my man Bub? Are you pumped for Jerry Yoke? Are you pumped for Joe Door? What are you guys pumped up for? I, I probably missed somebody over there. Probably missed some sort of matchup. Are you guys come pumped for Chris Cobain? Um, <laughs> I wasn't forgetting you, Cobain. I love you, buddy. If I if I miss somebody, like who are, you, who are you guys? Who are you guys rooting for? Just let me know in the comments section below. Love your faces. Thank you guys very much for just rooting me on for the whole entire season for believing in me. Um, we had a very good team, but at the same exact time, I mean, we had one rapid spinner and um, 
that was pretty much the only thing, the only way that we really could get rid of hazards other than defog mence, which we ran week one and it worked, but I didn't know if I really could run it any other time. Uh, teams can always be better, the 24 man league, and John had the superior team, had the superior plan, and hey, what, what can you do? <laughs> what can you do whenever you get fully paralyzed twice? Trying to make a comeback at the very least. Thank you guys for watching though, love your faces, and I'll catch you all later. Peace out.